guys it's nick from nerd culture and it has been a while since i've really posted something or even like talked about dc related things and a lot of stuff has been happening lately i was graduating college finally it's over oh boy i'm an adult it's difficult but i'm back and i wanted to talk about a bunch of news that dropped that i'm kind of be covering everything hopefully i don't miss something but if i do please leave it in the comments down below you can call me out and we'll go from there also, I want to try and fix my setup. Uh, I got to figure it out, but we're going to go from there. But let's get into the video. I want to start with the biggest and the most weird one to me, which is the merger of Warner Media and Discovery. Warner Media is merging with like the Food Network, Home TV, and the Discovery Channel. And actually, this new merger is going to be run by the CEO of Discovery, David Saslav. I'm sorry if I'm butchering that name, but. He will be overseeing everything, which means AT&T is cutting their losses, giving him full reign. And now he will basically run DC movies, Warner Brothers, and every sub property that they own, which also includes WB games and a lot more things. I personally don't know what is going to happen. It's going to be branded in a new name. Apparently HBO Max may be rebranded as well. Hmm. Hmm? Mm-hmm. I haven't a clue what's going on here, but I'll act like I do. This means movies like the Batman, the upcoming Flash movie, the Shazam movie, and even stuff that HBO just owns like Game of Thrones and other content is going to be under this new brand, this new deal. AT&T is seeing this as an opportunity to combat Disney+, Plus, Netflix, and Amazon Prime Video, which came out of nowhere with the like sleeper hit the boys and invincible which has recently been one of my favorite things and jk simmons kills it Ugh. why did you make me do this you're fighting so you can watch everyone around you die think mark now another reason they're doing this is because at&t is actually in a lot of debt at the moment they bought warner media for over 80 billion dollars you know, that's kind of just pocket change to a lot of us. That's, we just have that lying around. No, but in all seriousness, they're actually trying to lay off some of the debt with $40 billion coming in from Discovery. That's only for half of what they bought it for. And it's at, they're not even going to be a part of this mostly. They're just selling it all. See, my problem now is with Discovery now owning everything, what does this mean exactly? Are they going to hold on to DC Entertainment? And... DC Comics and WB Games, which makes a lot of their games, or are they going to be what a huge rumor has been happening and sell it to Mickey Mouse? You're from Pixar? No, I'm from South Park. What's South Park? Do I own that? No, not yet, sir. For the love of God, I have seen this rumor and I hope it is not true, but Disney is it possibly going to buy it because Discovery's plan initially is to buy it and sell it to Disney for a very high price because we all know that if anything Disney is known for, it is buying properties and then using it as their own. They did it with Marvel, they did it with Star Wars, and now they may do it with DC Comics. Why do they have to own everything under the sun? Everything in my room is going to have a Mickey Mouse shape in five months. But if that happens, I'm gonna be out of job at the nerd culture. I think Ruth might just take over as for the DC nerd. So, uh, good luck, Ruth. But in all seriousness, this could implicate that Disney would own a huge monopoly in the entertainment world. And I'm not even joking with this. They would own Fox, Marvel, Star Wars, and DC, which are just a few of the big brands. And everyone's trying to combat this. Amazon actually just bought MGM to combat everybody apparently merging. The streaming wars are getting out of hand and out of control with everyone trying to buy everything. It's no longer becoming... Oh, cable networks and you can just tune in. No, it's not. You got to buy a Netflix subscription to watch Stranger Things and other things. You got to buy an Amazon subscription to watch The Boys and Invincible. You got to buy an HBO Max subscription to watch things like Doom Patrol, Titans, and more. 
you have to buy a Disney Plus to watch The Bad Batch, which I have been, have been loving, beside the point. But it's you have to buy all these things. And I think HBO Max saw their numbers were dwindling. They weren't where they wanted to be. at and banked heavily on HBO Max being successful and beating out Disney Plus. So they said, let's merge them together and we're going to hope for the best. And I don't, I, I just don't see how Discovery will put them over the edge. I do think it's in the right direction, owning more properties like a Disney would, but at the same time, it needs to make sense. And I'm hoping the new uh, CEO and David Sazlop, once again, I am sorry if I'm butchering that, will treat DC Comics right and properly because the past few years have been very hit or miss with way too many misses. A lot of studio interference, a lot of directors unhappy with how Warner Brothers has been handling their films, even just like not even DC comic movies. A lot of movies have been getting chopped because see, executives in at t weren't happy with the way the films were progressing or even being shown. And to be honest, I just want somebody in control of this department that cares, respects these characters and portrays them the way they're supposed to be traded and not just for a quick cash grab. And to be honest, it's just something that's so, it's, it should be so bare bones basic, but at the same time, it just hasn't been happening recently. And I need that reason. Because as David Soslov is already saying, teasing about the possibility of restoring the Snyderverse, because apparently he actually cares. So nice. Now, I don't know if this is because of the merger or they had it planned, but already we're seeing announcements. We see the announcement of Injustice movie, an animated movie. This is something I've been wanting for a while because these games tell a great story and it would be perfect animated, especially if it focuses on the comics. The, basically, the events leading up to the first game, it was nuts. A lot of stuff happened betrayals, everything. It's a great story that should be animated and well-deserved. And another thing that was announced actually is Joker 2, which I am extremely excited for. I think I saw the first Joker four or five times in theaters, and that's not a joke. Anytime one of my friends like, hey, you know about that Joker movie? I was like, I'll buy tickets right now. We're out, let's go. It was a great movie. Todd Phillips is coming back to write the script. And I'm thinking now that maybe we can take the character in more directions if the cuts and like this overwatching of Warner Brothers isn't there anymore. But I don't know if these properties are being announced because the new CEO is taking over saying, I want more content that, pe that favors the public, or it's because they've had these in probably development, but they're seeing it now as an opportune time to announce these. But all I know is this merger is going to affect DC Comics because the new CEO sees over everything and it's going to be his influence and his like actions that are going to shape it. Are they going to be good, bad? Who knows? I'm not allowed to judge. I don't know. I don't know how to run a company, basically. I'm still, I just graduated college. I'm trying to find a job. But I do wish the best for it. And I do think it, in new hands is what DC needs at the moment because they are losing bad to Marvel. But this is the chance with the CEO MCU being done and basically the infinity saga was its shining achievement marvel is in a weird spot right now where they're banking on new heroes like the eternals and if they don't pan out they are going to be in trouble this could be dc's time to finally get it right and take over and be the new superhero like fan favorite if you will but anyway guys this could be a huge step for warner brothers to finally get it right and it could impact the streaming wars heavily but what do you guys think Leave your comments down below, thoughts down below. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel. This has been Nick with DC Nerd, and I'll see you guys 